Because that's what Americans do now. They're always willing to trade away a little of their freedom. What is clear, however, is that universal masking alone is not a panacea. In exchange for the feeling, the illusion of security. We know that wearing a mask outside healthcare facilities offers little, if any, protection from infection. What we have now is a completely neurotic population obsessed with security and safety and crime and drugs and cleanliness and hygiene and germs. Folks, I sort of thought about this, and I assumed that wearing a mask it would, is beneficial. It's not. According to Dr. Fauci, here from the Hennessy's view, masks are symbolic. I'm sorry, masks are symbolic, so that means it doesn't do anything? Let's read on. Say Dr. Fauci and the New England Journal of Medicine. I... Did this come out in the 1800s when people used to bathe in rivers, you know, downstream from porta potties? Oh, wait, that's May 28th. And this journal medicine article came out May 21st. So it's only seven days. Oh, wait, eight days now. From the New England Journal of Medicine, of course. In the past week, Dr. Anthony Fauci and the New England Journal of Medicine have admitted that masks are little more than symbols. Virtue signaling. Wait a minute. Okay. I don't trust you, Mr. Hennessy. I should read on. For those who shout science like it's a Tourette tick, this is from the New England Journal of Medicine on May 21st, 2020, not 1800. Quoting from the article in the New England Journal of Medicine, we know that wearing a mask outside healthcare facilities offers little if any, protection from infection. Wait, then why are we wearing it if it doesn't do anything? Public health authorities define a significant exposure to COVID-19 as a face-to-face -face contact within six feet with a patient with symptomatic COVID-19 that is sustained for at least a few minutes and some say more than 10 minutes or even 30. Hmm. The chance of catching COVID-19 from a passing interaction in a public space is therefore minimal. So why are we going through all this bullcrap in grocery stores, limiting the amount of people in there? So, okay. In many cases, the desire for widespread masking is a reflexive reaction to anxiety over the pandemic. Wow, that's, that's pretty interesting. And this is from Dr. Fauci and the New England Journal of Medicine. This is an authoritative source, Susan Wojcicki of YouTube, who likes to tout authoritative sources. Hmm, let's continue because I'm not really convinced yet. So why are we ordered to wear masks? Symbolism. From the same article in the New England Journal of Medicine, it is also clear that masks serve symbolic roles. Masks are not only tools, they are also talismans that may help increase healthcare workers' perceived sense of safety, well-being, and trust in their hospitals. Talisman. Talisman. What is a talisman? An object typically an inscribed ring or stone that is thought to have magic powers and bring good luck. So, wait a minute. So you're telling me that a talisman is a sim something that's similar to wearing a mask. So it's magic. So the New England Journal of Medicine, up until now, was dealing in magic? Do tell. I don't believe in magic. Let's continue. The Surgeon General has widely mocked and ridiculed for suggesting in March that masks might even increase spread of the virus. I heard about that, and I was deeply concerned. Well, then why are we wearing masks? Just wear it because it's good for you. Okay, okay, okay. Yet, here the esteemed New England Journal of Medicine provides the same warning to mask wearers. Quote from the article itself. What is clear, however, is that universal masking alone is not a panacea. Hmm, boys and girls, what is a panacea? Panacea. 
a solution or remedy for all difficulties or diseases. Okay, so what that's saying is wearing a mask alone is not a panacea, is not a solution or remedy for all difficulties and diseases. Hmm, then why are we doing it? Oh, that's right. Symbolism. Symbolism? Symbolism is for the symbol-minded. Symbolism doesn't help. Then why are we doing it? Symbolism. That doesn't answer the question. A mask will not protect providers caring for a patient with COVID-19 if it's not accompanied by meticulous hand hygiene, eye protection, gloves, and a gown. Who's out there wearing safety goggles or a face shield during this or wearing a gown? I sure haven't. I should have been infected by now. But according to the New England Journal of Medicine, if you don't do this, you're going to you're going to catch it. But wearing a mask, it's virtue signaling. It's showing the world that I'm doing what's right for the world and wearing a mask that doesn't freaking help you. A mask alone will not prevent healthcare workers with early COVID-19 from contaminating their hands and spreading the virus to patients and colleagues. Focusing on universal masking alone may, oh, this is the good part, boys and girls, paradoxically lead to more transmission of COVID-19 if it diverts attention from implementing if it diverts attention from implementing more fundamental infection control measures. So we're, we're wearing this mask to show the world that we care by not to want to spread. But the New England Journal of Medicine, according to its own article, says it doesn't help. So why the F are we doing this? Oh yeah, it's a talisman. It's not going to help, but it's going to show you that you're... <laughs> you're you're aware of the dangers of it, but it's not going to help because you're not going to wear a mask and gloves, face shield, um, and a gown and keep social distancing, but you're still going to get it if you just wear a mask. What the hell are they trying to tell us? Why are they telling us one thing and then telling us another thing and then say, just wear it because it's a virtue signal. And if you don't do it, how dare you? You're a science denier. I'm not a science denier. What the hell am I supposed to come come across, come away from this? I'm reading this just like everyone else. So wearing masks, it, it's no, there's no use. Wearing a mask is a virtue signaling. It's a talisman. It's it's a panacea. It doesn't help. Well, I know what you're going to say. You'll read into the article and say, "Well, it'll help some." Really? Okay. That's like um having a a real thin cloth glove to pick up a hot pot off the stove. It's not going to, you're still going to get heat and it's still going to burn you, but it's not going to burn you as much. Instead of a, you know, second degree burn, you'll get a first degree burn. I guess that's better, right? But you still get burned. So what the, so mm, I always knew that Saying what I said early on during this pandemic going on, I said, let's trust the government in this instance. Let's see what they have to say because, God forbid, I'm sure they don't want us to die. What the hell am I supposed to think about this now? Do they want me to die now? I mean, I I, I don't know. I mean... This is from Dr. Fauci in the New England Journal of Medicine. They're saying this doesn't help. You have to go be in a biohazard suit to fully not get it. But they don't tell you that. Why? All the searches, the screenings, the cameras, the questions, it's just one more way of reducing your liberty and reminding you that they can fuck with you anytime they want. As long as you put up with it. As long as you 